Okay, y'all. Hey, this is uh, OCT Women, Terry. And just thought I'd do a quick little video on what is breaking. Um, I guess y'all are seeing some of the information being put out that Biden is now speaking up and calling for an assault weapon ban and calling on Congress to pass all these other bills. It's not going to do anything as well. Obama is flapping his jaws, too. I just want to say, you know, my heartfelt sympathy, condolences, and prayers go out to the victims in Colorado. And that's what they were. They were victims. Colorado's gun laws prevented nothing. It aided in securing those folks as victims to a delusional, mentally unstable person that chose to commit this evil act in once again you know it's it's the firearm that's going to get blamed and going to try and get banned and all this and that let me just say colorado's universal background checks did diddly squat colorado's red flag laws did diddly squat Colorado's high-capacity magazine bans did diddly squat. The likes of the anti-gunners, the Moms Demand Action, Bloomberg, the Colorado legislators that put forth all of this feel-good gun laws and common-sense gun laws, this lays at y'all's feet. I'm sorry, that is my opinion, and, and I stand by it. It lays at their feet. They're the ones that enabled this evil, delusional, mentally unstable, foreign piece of crap. I'm not even going to give him the courtesy to pronounce his name to commit this act. And now they want to make all the rest of us Victims right along with them coming from from Washington as Joe Biden and Kamala Harris call for uh, assault weapon bans and all this other bull crap they're trying to pass. Y'all get ready because it's fixing to get bumpy. We're going to have a fight. We, we, we've got to stand our ground. We've got to be heard. I know people say it doesn't do no good, but reach out to your congressman, to your representatives, to whoever you think you can. We, we're catching it from all around. And, of course, you know, y'all know we what's going on Thursday here in, down in Austin. We got four constitutional carry bills waiting to be heard. And, uh... Those bills are HB 1238, HB 2900, HB 1911, and HB 1927. I'm sure you've seen the links that I'm passing, that I'm trying to share. If you can't be in Austin, please go to the link that I am passing around and submit your written public testimony electronically. It will be counted. It matters let's do this flood them out let's do it now send them in early it doesn't matter it, it's never too early uh y'all just keep your eye on the ball on on what's going on on the national level because it, it's fixing to get hairy and uh i don't know it, it, it's it's like all you know they started this push and now all of a sudden we're having all these shootings Make what you want of it. <laughs> anyway, y'all, please stay armed out there. Stay safe. Pay attention to your surroundings and carry on, my friends. And uh, we gotta we gotta stick together. Later.